Hey guys, sorry it's been a while um, since I made a video. I wanted to go ahead and give you a review about the Carnival of Lair and how I felt about it. I think I honestly expected a lot more for my first cruise because all the videos that I watched, like I literally researched videos for probably a whole year trying to find out where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do. Like I booked the cruise that I'm going in January 1st and then I've already booked two before that just so I can get a feel of it basically. Um, my first cruise I didn't plan on going by myself. Um, that's just how <laughs> things work out. So yeah. Um, I think I was very overwhelmed with all the things that you could do um, on the ship. So I really didn't know what I wanted to do for the first two days. So for the first two days, I didn't do that much. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you some of the things I liked and didn't like about the Carnival Valair. So the things that I did like was how fast it was getting onto the ship and getting into my room. So the later you get on the ship, 1.30 is when the rooms are ready. So closer to 1.30, the better off you will be just going straight to your room like I did. Um, so I like that. Uh, number two about my room, I had the bed and the pillows, they were super comfy. Oh my gosh. The pillows were freaking awesome. Um, my bed was put together to be a king, so I was very still happy about that. I had a whole huge bed to myself. Um, everyone was super nice on board. Like, I literally did not have a bad experience with anyone at all. Like, everyone was super nice. Um, the steakhouse and the seafood. Okay, basically, the specialty dinings, I felt like, were the best places to eat on board. Um, great shows and entertainment. The ship wasn't over like populated. There wasn't like tons of people. There wasn't a lot of kids on board either. So that was another plus. Um, getting on and off in Cosmo was super easy. Like I had no trouble with that. There wasn't a big crowd. Like I don't know if, if I got off super early. That was why. But I had an easy time getting on and off. Um, Okay, so I was on the Lido deck. I was on deck nine. I only had one person next door to me. And uh, honestly, for the most part, it was very quiet. Um, the elevators were right next to me too, and I didn't even hear them, so I thought that was awesome. Uh, TJ was my director, and he was very awesome. They made announcements every day. He like seemed like he actually loved his job. Um, Fast debarcher, de, debarkation day, is and then debark, debarkture, whatever the last day, embarkture, the last day is, was super fun, or not super fun, super easy, and I had no problems. I actually met two people in line on my way out. They were super nice. Um, the hot tubs were perfect for watching movies. Um, I honestly didn't think I was going to get in any hot tubs, but I did, and I actually enjoyed it. So that was pretty much all the things that I liked on the ship. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you some of the things I didn't like on the ship. Um, I didn't like... I, okay, so when I first got on the ship, I thought my room was, like, super clean and everything. Oh, and I love my stewardess. My stewardess was freaking awesome the whole time. His name was Emerson, and he was freaking great. Uh... But some things I didn't like, if I would have two twin beds, you could see underneath the bed that there was a huge like yellow stain and there was just random pills underneath my bed and I thought that was weird. I don't know. Um, my bed skirt had like white stuff on it. Um, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Uh, the mustard drill was super long. They put us in lines, and I literally was one of the first people to get in there, so I was like smashed up against the wall. Uh, at some point, I almost fainted because it was so hot. Uh, they had to let me go sit in the library afterwards because it was like so hot out there. And, every, and I was felt so claustrophobic, it was bad. I felt embarrassed that the people around me almost watched me faint. But anyways, um, the buffet did not have a lot of choices like at all. Like, you could pick from three different things and then a 
couple sides and then like a bunch of bread and fruit basically. Honestly would not stick with the buffet if you go on a cruise, just saying. Um, the pizza delivery, uh, it only took 20 minutes, but I paid $5 for a pizza that literally had no cheese. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture of that in here for you guys. So it probably, it might be at the end, but it's gonna be in here. Um, a lot of the food needed more seasoning. I don't know if I need to like bring my own seasonings or what, but like I really felt like everything was bland. Like the quality of the food was great, but this there was no seasoning. It was very plain, basically. Um, the drinks were really weren't that strong at all. Like I literally paid over two hundred dollars in just drinks, and I could say that I only had one drink that was really strong, and that was it. Um, the popcorn. I don't even know why I, I saw everybody doing this and I was just like, oh no, that's weird. Like why am I gonna put freaking salt on my popcorn? <sighs> Their freaking popcorn that they give you is gross. It's like no butter, no nothing, nothing on it at all. So if you see salt, put the salt on there. I didn't and it was horrible. <laughs> okay, so I have a whole back page of things I didn't like also, so we're gonna get to that. Okay, so next door there was a crew deck in between 1 a.m. and 3 p.m. Basically, they would be moving stuff around and the guy next door to me, I think he thought it was me, but he would literally be yelling at them like, what the are you doing and like all this and I'm just like, oh my God, like sitting here trying not to laugh as I'm sitting in my bed. <laughs> okay, so the cabin, my cabin balcony was kind of dirty, but I mean really, I highly doubt the balconies ever get clean but whatever. Um, I tanned on the deck underneath the mini golf and one of the balls from the mini golf hit me in the leg. Um, I really was not that thrilled about that, but yeah. Uh, looking, on, looking for stuff on the ship was really hard for me. Um, being on the ship by myself, I really didn't have that many people to talk to. And when I did talk to the like crew members, a lot of them were not very knowledgeable of the places that I was looking for, so it was very annoying. But um, yeah, the guest services on the ship was super, super slow. I literally waited in line for 20 minutes and I just got out of line because I was tired of waiting and I wasn't gonna keep sitting there. <laughs> um, oh, another thing, okay, so they like have a little kiosk that you can go to and it shows you every charge that you did. And they had two of them and both like every single day that I went to one of them, you couldn't print off your whole paper. And I thought that was kind of dumb. Um, but that's about everything I didn't in light on the Carnival Valair. Um, I hope you guys really liked my videos. I'm sorry that that last video was a complete fail and some of the videos were a lot smaller than the rest. I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, my phone literally broke when I came back after the trip, so I lost some stuff, but I posted what I still had, so I'm still happy with that. Um, so now my next cruise is going to be in October, so for now I am thinking of new video ideas. If anyone has any ideas, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Bye.